Photogs. It's Paige, the Fat Photog here. It is Fat Tuesday, which means I'm serving up another funky fresh tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can reduce glare or reflections on your images. This is going to work best with a image that is not clear. Um, so an image that has a little bit of a color to it, like this mug is a white opaque mug. So it's going to work well for something like this. Now here I have this picture of a mug and you'll see that I have glares right here and some reflections and they're kind of, they're super noticeable a little and a little bit distracting. Now, obviously if I would have taken this picture and I would have had a little bit of a reflector, a white piece of paper or something, um, I could have avoided having such noticeable reflections. But sometimes in hindsight, when we're taking our pictures, we don't think of everything or we go outside and we're so excited that there's nice light or, you know, a pretty background because the tree in my yard just bloomed and we don't quite think things through. And so, yes, I could go back and reshoot this, but it's going to take a lot more time for me to go back out and reshoot or maybe wait until the next day when sometimes little fixes only take us 10 seconds. So that's why, yes, we do want to try to get our pictures as perfect as possible in camera, but sometimes that doesn't happen. And when it doesn't happen, it's it's really nice to have some tricks in our toolbox so we can fix things easily without spending hours behind a computer um, and, or waiting hours to reshoot or, you know, setting everything back up or what have you. So that's where this little trick comes into play and super simple. This is going to be a pretty quick tutorial. So let me walk you through it. The first thing we want to do is we want to grab our eyedropper tool and to do that, Real simple, just click the eye on your keyboard and you're gonna see that your cursor is gonna change into the eyedropper. Now what I wanna do is I wanna sample the color of my mug. So I wanna sample part of my mug that doesn't have the reflection on it. So I'm just gonna sample right here. Um, and you can see here that my foreground color has changed to the color that I just sampled. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to click on my adjustment layers and I'm gonna add a solid color adjustment layer. So what that did is it added a solid color adjustment layer in this, um, on my image in the color that I sampled from before. So we're gonna click okay. Now this is showing up over the entire image. It's gonna be something that I just want to brush on. So I'm gonna click on my layer mask right here. And when the layer mask is activated, you're gonna have those four corners lit up and we're gonna invert the layer mask. So white reveals, black conceals. So if I want to invert my layer mask, you just press command I on your keyboard, control I if you have a PC. And so now my layer mask is black. And now I just want to reveal the part of um, the layer mask that I want. But before I do that, I need to change the blend mode of my layer. So right here where it says normal, I'm gonna click on this and we are gonna change our blend mode to darken. And that is going to um, allow us to get rid of this without it looking funky. Cause if I just painted on the color, what I would get is a mug that no longer looks three dimensional. Now I could, I could do that. I could paint it on and just like paint it like a solid gray, but it's gonna look off and people are gonna look at it and they're gonna be like, there's something wrong with that image. And it's because you lose all of the dimension because those reflections and everything and the shadows and all of that, they do give your image a three dimensional quality. So we don't wanna get rid of them completely, but if they're distracting, we do wanna diminish them. So now that I have that all set up, I'm gonna click on my brush tool. I'm going to bring down the opacity of my brush tool to about like 50% because uh, we can build this up a little bit because again, we don't want to, we don't want to make it the mug look funky. Now, another thing I need to make sure with my brush tool is that I'm using a soft round brush. So I want to use a round brush with a hardness of zero. If you're using a hardness of 100, you're going to get splotchy masking and it's going to look funky. Um, but a soft brush is going to make all of those edges kind of blend into the image really nice. And then we just brush over the reflections and you can see that it's doing a great job at getting rid of those reflections. I'm just using my brush tool, like a paintbrush over this. And, you know, anywhere where you feel the reflection is just a tiny bit annoying, just brush it over. And then if you need to build it up a little bit more, 
you can build it up. Now, every time I take my mouth, I let go of my mouse and um, push on it again, it's going to add another 50% of color. So it's building up the effect. And so the reflection's still there. It's, it's still showing, but it's way less noticeable. So here was the before, super noticeable. Here's the after, way less noticeable, um, pretty perfect. So that is how we can reduce glare. And it's super simple. If I were to do this without all of the talking, literally it, it takes like 10 seconds. So that's it for today. I hope you found this tutorial really helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials every Tuesday. And if you want any even more tips and tricks, be sure to join our VIP group. And I will see you next week. Bye.